Hey y'all. In the wake of the horrific white supremacist murders that we have seen in Buffalo, I'm seeing a lot of calls from people, predominantly white people, um, for gun control, while a lot of black people are talking about white supremacy. And I think it's really important that when we're talking about this, we're really clear about what gun control will and will not do in these situations. The history of our country and its relationship with guns is intrinsically linked to violent white supremacy. Before this country was known as the United States, the early colonies often had laws that required that white men take a weapon with them as they left their homes in case they encountered indigenous peoples. This is a country that has always used violent weapons in order to control populations of color and has used the fear of populations of color to justify weapon stockpiles. It is important to realize how gun sales shot up across white America during the Ferguson protests. It is important to realize that a lot of the stockpiles of weapons that white Americans hold and then are often sold into inner cities to further endanger people of color in this country come from this fear of populations of color that has been manufactured by white supremacy and maintained by white supremacy. So when people talk about banning guns or removing guns, it's important to realize that that effort will never gain headway if we don't tackle the ways in which the powers that be profit politically and financially from the fear of blackness and from violent white supremacy. It is important that we realize that that violent fear is being purposefully maintained and it is linked to why there are so many guns in this country. We cannot say that getting rid of guns will fix the problem. We must recognize that we must tackle white supremacy. We must tackle the ways in which violent white supremacists are rewarded in the society with political and economic power. That is what we have to be addressing. And I'm not saying this as someone who's pro-gun. I absolutely want guns off the street. I absolutely want guns off our streets. But I recognize that that will not happen so long as the fear of black people in this country drives gun sales and drives political power. So long as that fear can be maintained and manipulated, so long as that can give white men a sense of power, it will not happen. So we need to ask what is sick in this country. And the guns aren't the sickness. The guns are the weapon that shows the sickness. We must ask how are our structures so heavily embedded in white male violence that we can't address this issue? What do we need to do about these structures? What do we need to do about the people on TV right now who are getting views by spouting the exact hatred that this young shooter used to gun down human beings? We must look at that and say everywhere that that hatred is rewarded with viewership, with money, with political power. That's what we must attack right now if we want to make change. And if we ever want to see a world where we have less guns on our streets, we have to really talk about how this behavior is being rewarded, how we are all being co-opted into the system that rewards violent anti-blackness in this country. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really, really vital that we start tackling this. I hope y'all are taking care of yourselves, um, especially if you're Black in this country right now. It is a really hard time. It is, I feel like I'm saying this too many times a year, um, but I love you. And I hope that you are taking care of yourself. And I hope that you are building some sort of buffer around yourself from all of the really traumatic and triggering discussions that are happening uh, online and on TV right now. Um, take care. Love you. Bye.